Look at all these blades. <laughs> I think that one's big, yours. This is a big boy board. They look Ooh. sick though, huh? The ox. The raging bull. Uh, we just stopped by the JS warehouse down in Carlsbad and brought up Connor a, uh, a stack of new boards right now with the coronavirus travel restrictions. He hasn't been able to go over to Australia to work with Jason on boards and they haven't been able to get a new shipment over here from Australia. So we're grabbing four boards off the rack and today we're gonna have a go on the new Raging Bull model which they just released which is Aki's new pro model. Dude, I think I want to go Aki today. This thing feels sick, especially like in bully little laughs. This thing feels like it'd be sick. Look at all these boards. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna get we're gonna get jumped right here, Ashton. Better put these back in the car. I feel like that feeling of going from like epoxy to poly in the totally same good. surf is like always feels like you're going slower. up here but felt like on a little more like open face like front side especially would have been really fun. Current strong. <laughs> Try the other one. super fun. Just felt like so much more loose and free than that other one. I don't know, maybe just the dimensions too are a little bit better. It's a little shorter. Just felt like my stance was like a little bit more in the right place on the board. It felt really fun. It felt really fast. Super loose and free. Like it just kind of felt a little bit more free than that board. Those waves had like a bit of punch out there and it felt like it held really well. Like even off the bottom it was like it felt real positive. It didn't feel like it wanted to like slide out or anything. especially just the dimensions and stuff. So probably in like a more short board type thing, I could feel that it would fold a lot. I've never been like much of a twin fin guy until I was riding the fish beard. That's what's nice about twin fins. You're guaranteed to go fast. Speed stickering. Kind of feels like sacrilege to put a pad on this. Where are the dimensions? We don't know what the dimensions are, it's black. 5'5", five, five, 19 and 3 quarters, 2 and 5 sixteenths. Well, ideally I'd go ride it on like a little chest shoulder high day at Rincon, but fortunately we don't have that, so we're gonna give it a go on some beach break. fun than it looked and the board was sick <laughs> super fun so fast it made like really shitty surf actually really fun so that was cool 
I was tripping. Yeah. I thought these words were gonna go okay. Yeah. And I've ridden a lot of fishes. Yeah. For as like simple and like clean as this thing is, it felt like you could do whatever you wanted on it. Yeah, it was like a super fun, just so fast, had like nice drive, it was turned super easily though. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, it made that really fun. I bet in like a little bit bigger surf it'd be insane. I couldn't believe how many of those little rights you found. I was looking for waves the whole time. <laughs> Five seven, nineteen and a quarter, two and five sixteenths, twenty six point eight liters. And that's about your liters. Like yeah, 27? that sounds pretty much like I think. I think I'm like 27, 26 point five to twenty seven somewhere in there. This one's a little bit bigger. It's five nine, nineteen, two and five sixteenths. So it's like a little bit yeah. wider than I'd normally ride a five nine. But yeah, usually I'd probably go like five nine, like eighteen three quarters. So hopefully it's not too wide. This one feels, it's like slim in the rail, but definitely you can see like the volume through here. They're pretty similar to a squash, but sometimes, sometimes they feel like they're a little bit like drivier, but not quite as like loose. Like kind of like lock in on that rail, but they don't like sometimes roll rail to rail as easy. I think I'm gonna go for the 5.9 Monster Box. Give it a go and work my way down. really good like it's 19 inches wide which is wider than I'm used to but it had such nice like sensitivity rail to rail still that it still worked really good and had so much glide with the width like it felt like you could just hang on the rail and just draw it like a really nice turn but then when I wanted to like kick it up into the lip it like had really good pivot too. I think this one compared to the ones I rode yesterday I like this one better I mean it's different it's more of like a normal shortboard but it's so fun to ride I could ride this thing forever. Yeah, I go for the black box now. Can't believe there's no one around. Oh, this is probably like one of the best JSs I've ridden so far. I think it feels so good. And it's just a stock board. It's pretty insane. It doesn't really feel like an epoxy. Yeah, like it didn't feel squirrely or weird at all, which like a lot of times epoxy does to me. This one looks like it'll probably be really fun too. Five, seven. I think that one's 20, that one's 27 liters and this one's 26.8. Five, seven, 19 and a quarter, two and five sixteenths. Thank you for that. <laughs> it's slippery with the red tide. Dude, my nose, I woke up in the middle of the night last night, just couldn't even breathe. My eyes are so itchy and puffy and just like gross. They still feel so red and itchy right now. This wax shop sucks. I swear wax on epoxy is just like, and once you're wet, it just turns to goo. Uh, a lot, lot rounder, wider in the outline. 
It felt more like a little skateboard. Like it, was, it felt like it'd be sick on a little point frame. Like it needed a little more room, but it was, I got some fun ways on it. It was super fast. So much speed and drive for like kind of a fun ground of boxing. <laughs> I feel like it's there right when I stand up and I'm almost like hanging on a little bit in waves that have that much push. It's like so much speed that you're trying to like figure out how to use it. But I feel like this way, but like a little bit at Rincon or something where you're just like skating down the line, it's so fun. Had so much speed. I don't really, I'm not a leader believer. <laughs> I don't really think it matters. I don't know, I feel like there's so much, just the way the board is shaped and like the, you know, the width relative to the length and like the plan shape and I mostly pay attention to the dimensions and that's what I go off of. I guess it's kind of a nice like ballpark though. If you're like, you know, going to get a board and you're like, oh, typically my board is 27 liters, you know, and it gives you somewhere to kind of start if you're just picking up a random board off the shelf. Oh, for sure, that Monster Box 20, I've probably would have ridden that contest out there. Like of all the jazz stuff, that was probably one of my favorite feeling ones. JS seems like he has super dialed in. It's like, dude, I even texted him this clip of Julian the other day at Bell's from like two years ago. And I was like, dude, this board, he's serving so good here. Like, what is he writing? He's like, oh yeah, that's this file I have for him. He says his boards are better now, but I could make you one. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I'm excited to work with him more because we we're kind of crunched for time there. And I'm, I'm excited to go spend some time down there. And, um, and just, he's shaped for so many good surfers that I feel like he has a pretty good idea of like, you know, seeing someone surf and then trying to tailor the boards to them. So yeah, it's kind of like just scratching the surface. Yeah, he's shaped for a lot of good surfers. It's pretty cool.